Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're here at the Geneva Concourse in Geneva, Illinois. A fantastic show, and I'm here with Bonnie. Bonnie, what's your last name? Bonnie Starzik. Starzik, and Bonnie's got an interesting car. It's always fun when you do a female owner because they have different emotions on why they got the car. What kind of car are we looking at today? Riata 1990 is the Select 60, which means there were only 60 made that year, and they were given to uh, high-performing dealers to be displayed in their showrooms, and they, uh, and of course now, they were their last handmade cars, to my understanding. From, from Made Buick bike. and General Motors? Right, General Motors, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll grab the cameras I usually do. Bob, thank you so much. So stay right with me. Come on back here. Okay. And uh, let's get a chance to uh, take a look at the front of your car. Yes. Yes. And there we go right there. It's got the unique no, kind of no grill look other than the lower grill here. That's right. And let's take a look now. Originally, the Buick Riatas had this logo. Yes. But if you had a Select 60, you had, you got that logo. This, now this the problem logo. is people don't put those logos on because they will take them and sell them on yes. eBay. So that's right. most of them are kept in the in the box. In with a the, glove compartment. Right, Correct. in the glove compartment. So let's take a look at this car from the side. And uh, now how, come on back with me, Bonnie. How long have you had this car? I had it since 2009. 2009. Yes. Something special happened in 2009. What was that? Yes, I have gotten a master's degree in nursing, and my husband surprised me, and he gave me this Riata. So a Buick graduation. Bob gave you a Riata. <laughs> graduation. Pretty gift. nice. Yes. Her husband's known as Buick Bob. And this is one of the special features: features white wheels. Beautiful. All the other 1990 have aluminum or different colors, but they have to be white wheels. They, the car has to be all white as well, with the white seats and red interior. So they only came in in white, when Arctic, Arctic white, Arctic as you can white, see up yes. there. And I'm just going to go down that slowly so people can potentially pause on anything they'd like to. Yes, and you can see the price in 1990. That was a lot of money. Cost this much, and this is the printout showing that this is indeed Select 60. There we go. Yeah, this is. I remember the 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 Riata was considered in it. You know, is a it was an expensive car. It wasn't a, a small small car to to purchase. So, and then there's the Craftsman log and. We're gonna feature yes. the back and then we'll go around to the other side. And this was something that was unique too. This was a special sign. We have met with many uh, uh, owners of Select 60 Riatas, and we are the only ones that they have this blue board. The blue board was displaying the year of the Select 60, right between Select 60 and the handcraft especially mm -hmm. for Buick tubs. There would be a year, what year that was. They were made between 1988 till uh, to uh, 91. 91. Yeah. Okay, great. That's it. All right, come on over here. Well, let's take a look at the back of the car. Yes. And I had a very smooth look to it, very sporty. And uh, it, it's uh, about, what is it, uh, 3,800 pounds, I believe. It's it's probably it's heavier a, than yeah, you think. It's a heavy car then, yeah. Yes. It looks like a, it would not be that and heavy. And it looks short, but it is not as short as you think, because if I forget how long it is, maybe you can ask my husband. He knows all the details. Bob knows all it. the details. Yes, he does. And uh, I have a that's a large tall, door for a, a small tall car. friend, female friend, who said I could never fit in that car. And we just opened the door, and she got in, and she said, "Oh my gosh, I can fit in it!" And she's about six two. Wow. And she was so happy. She says it's a very comfortable ride. She's got a totally different view about the Riatas, and she says it's a very comfortable. She's car. a raving fan. <laughs> yes, she is. She's a raving yes, fan. Yes, yes. Let me take a look at some of the things I like to video too, or some of the details on the door, right. kind of a unique little point there as it grabs into the door there. And we've got the Riata, nice features on the door. And 
right there is all your different options. And the Buick had uh, some nice features to it because it was always kind of the high-end car. There's the Riata logo there. Yes. How many miles on it? Did I see that? It's 3,800. We bought it at 3,200. But as you can see, we have been driving around. So we had fun with yeah, it. Yeah, you should have fun with your car, yeah. right? And see, we have a change. You can put in change there. You can keep your coffee. It's still got a lighter. And there's a, there's a lot of room. You can see the dashboard here from that angle. You can see how deep that goes yes. on that side. So, yeah, yeah, you've got a lot of room for the passenger. Right. Do you have the keys to it? Uh, Bob, do you have a key or do I have the key? Got the keys. Uh, maybe I put it in my purse because I don't have it in me. In me. Can we pop the hood? Is it from here? Or? Uh, yes. Okay. This was not the digital dash that they changed in 1990. This is not the digital dash? Not the digital dash. It gave them all the problems. Oh, okay, not the digital this dash. This is the electronic dash. Gotcha. Yeah, dash. that's what I wanted to see, the dashboard all right. there. All right, how do we open the hood? Okay, um, okay. I'll get it. All right. We have to line up the... Uh, I'll get it. If all right, you go call, ahead. I'll get it. There you go. Let's pop the hood. So the Buick has a six-cylinder sideways, so it's front-wheel drive. 3,800, which is one of the best motors they ever made. Nice. And all obviously original. Yes. As you can original, see. Original paint. This is original everything. Nothing has been replaced or repainted. The compressor, which is all compressor all yes. That's all we have. Do you meant to keep the ride in there? Yeah. Why does the ride have to be there? For the, for the, uh, the spring. Okay. Spring crush. Okay. Oh, well, that's uh, right, because. Uh, Yes, you have to keep the rag because otherwise the spring will rust over here. Got it. Let's turn it on. Okay. Please don't have to We had to change the compressor this year and I found the OEM compressor for the car. Sideways engine start. The fuel injection. Look at a little exhaust note. Exhaust note there. Beautiful. Let's shut it off. <clears throat> you made that look very easy. I made it look difficult. Come on out. Yes. And <laughs> shut, you know shut the hood, please. Go ahead. You're going to tell me one other thing. Yes, that we've had several women walking by. Yes. And they talk I'll, about I'll, I'll <laughs> owning Riadas and just loving, loving Riadas. It's like, like this is very easy to maneuver car. Come on, Bob. <laughs> easy to maneuver car, you know, on your turns, turns really easy. And, and it's very smooth driving. And Bob, thank you for giving her this wonderful <laughs> gift. And I want to thank you, Bonnie, for being on My Car Story with Lou. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. Thank you.